right everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce makes sense we are continuing our journey of understanding salesforce development via apex and we are currently working on 30 apex use cases and this is use case number three write a method that accepts an email and sends out an email from that method so accepts an email as in accepts an email address so a customer's email address is what you'll accept as a parameter and you have to trigger out an email from apex yeah interesting use case the thing is when i first came to know that you know you are, you can actually send out emails from apex i felt that was really powerful like can you really send out an email from code that was really strong and powerful that i felt like you know really good capabilities of apex so yes can email be sent out or triggered via apex it can be done and there is a specific specific class that is the messaging class which i know about but let's let's think that this is the first time that we have gotten this use case yeah and we have to actually refer some help articles to be able to achieve this okay what we are going to do is let's go to vs code and let's create a new class so i'll call it apex use case 3 for those of you who think you can do it yourself pause the video here and try to attempt it yeah and let me know in the comments what i'll do is i'll just say public static void send alert to customer what should be my method input or method parameter it would be a email address correct now before even jumping into the solution we should think logically right what is it that's needed we need to send out an email so to send out an email what do you normally do you actually put a to address correct who to send it to you put a subject maybe you put a body or a content and then you probably just send it right these are the two or three things that you need and that's exactly what we'll try to find out now let's assume that we don't know how to actually call or actually trigger an email from apex so what do we do we take a look at the documentation so i'll say trigger email from apex method yeah so that's the search criteria and it's always safe to probably take a look at salesforce documentation okay so i'll take a look at this developer.salesforce.com guide which is the single email message methods you can also take a look at some sample examples created by people on their blog right you can also take a look at that but i'll just prefer the documentation first so that even if i'm you know trying to copy and paste things from one place to another i still should be able to understand what am i really doing see pasting code from somewhere is okay only until and unless you actually understand what you have pasted okay that's the key if you can if you just paste and let the system run you, you are no one right you're just moving code from one place to another there's no no point of having you in the first place so it's always important that if you are referring something right if you're taking inspiration from something always understand what have you taken up and you should know what have you written what have you pasted that's okay okay so now our use cases that we want to trigger out an email so single email message is one class that extends the email and inherits all its, all its methods and this is what we'll be using okay however we cannot directly use the single email email message okay so if i try to search let's say probably something else send email from apex yeah so you'll see that there's something called outbound email available there's a medium article available there's some article from some fellow here as a blog right so let's take a look at the salesforce documentation here and this is where you can see that you have something called single email message that comes as part of the messaging class yeah and this is what we are looking for we want to create an instance of the messaging dot single email message and down below you'll notice that an entire sample code is made available for you to actually take it up and use it for your disposal okay but we'll not directly copy paste everything okay because why to do that what we'll do is we'll take up this instance and it's always good to read this comments yeah every method with with a comment it will tell you what is that line doing and that gives you the fair idea of what you need and what you don't need okay first of all if you notice this line is basically doing an instantiation and if i take a look and copy this mail keyword and if you see down here you see this mail instance keyword has all of these methods these methods these are all your single email message methods okay and once you set all of these methods you have a method called send email as part of the messaging class that triggers the email okay so i think i'm sure that i need this particular line to instantiate my mail variable correct so i'll copy this particular line 
and the thing I'm sure about is I need to actually trigger the email so I need the send email message send email method so these things I'm I'm sure about right now in between I need to actually set values based on my requirement correct that's what I need to do so what will I do I'll say mail dot set subject is one method right and how do I know it if you notice if I say mail dot you'll see all of the variables and all of the methods are already available in VS code because it knows that you are writing an apex class it is tied to a org it is able to intelligently give you all the methods okay so if you let's say type subject you see you get two methods get subject or set subject so I want to actually set the subject right so I'll say urgent take a look okay that's my subject what else do we need to do we actually need to set the content or rather the body so if I just type body you see you get two set messages one is to set the HTML body other one is to set plain text body now you already understand what is HTML and what is plain text right if I have to simply write a message like a text or a string I can use the plain text correct but if I want to do some decoration some aesthetic uh, I need to add some aesthetics around it probably oh, alignment uh, font colors and all of that stuff and keep it in a format then you go for a HTML body okay and also if in case you have an email template right a template in your system so you can even do something like set template ID so that will basically pick up that email template from your system and send an alert containing that email template content okay so right now just for the sake of simplicity we'll go ahead with plain text okay and I'll just say this is a notification triggered by Salesforce via Apex for you okay just as simple as it can get so I've set the subject I've set the plain text body what do you think is required now I need to tell it right who to send it to so the to address is what we want to set the set to address method will let you set who to send it to okay now if I try to directly pass this email address that I have here in the string parameter let's try to pass it okay it's okay to get errors and make mistakes that's how we learn so these are the three things we pretty much need we are good I'll go ahead and just try to deploy it okay subject is set body is set and two address is set and if you notice line number seven is giving an error and it says that the method set to address string does not exist this is giving the error here so once I get an error I will basically go back to my documentation right that's the right place to go set to address see it's being used here and it is actually sending a variable now what is this variable two addresses is this variable and mind you it is not a string it is actually a list of strings meaning if you want you can send it out to multiple recipients correct so it has to be a string okay and if you want to double check and double confirm whether this code written here is true or false let's go back to the single email message methods and search for this method set two addresses see here it says set two addresses a list of email addresses is what it expects a list of email address not one address that's why this is failing here this is just one email address correct so what we want to do is we want to basically create a list I'll call it to address list and I'll say new list of string and I'll just as associate it with the email address that we have received perfect I can do that now I can pass this particular list here and if I now say save and I try to deploy it let's see if line number eight fails or it passes now so you see deploy is successful the class is created in the org okay what is another good thing we can do we can actually check whether the string is blank or not correct so I'll say string is blank email address and I'll say if it is not blank only then go inside and do all of this stuff or else don't even bother why if email address is not present who will I send the email to correct so that check saves you that call all right I'll just deploy this one more time after the changes I have made cool so all looks good and what I'll do is I'll go back to dev console and I'll refresh my page here so that I can open the apex class I'll say apex use case 3 now Salesforce has recently released some updates around 
verifying your email addresses in in in, in the org that has come as part of the release update uh, uh, for in enforcement around who triggers the email from your system those email addresses have to be verified if i quickly show you one sample or one example if i go to users and if i open this in classic if you take a look at my user here right this is the person who's the context user you see this verified tag is required whoever is sending out that email right that the email should be verified alongside that there are some more checks around deliverability so if you go to deliverability if you are trying to trigger any messages from salesforce to third party your access level here should be all email or else emails will not flow out okay that's one and there's one more thing around the email from salesforce okay this particular dkim key ownership flag should be checked okay only then emails will flow out all right so you have to keep this checked or else emails might not flow out i'll not check it for now i'll leave it as is and i'll just try to hit it okay i'll try to hit this particular method just to see if the invocation at least is happening or not so i'll say apex use cases 3 dot send alert to customer and i'll put my email address okay i'll not use the same salesforce makes sense why because the to and from will be same i'm not sure if salesforce will make a problem around it so i'm using another different email address that i have okay and i'll just say execute so executed fine no runtime exceptions and if i take a lo look at the debug only log there's nothing on the debug however if i search for email i should see a log yes the limit log you see the number of email invocations that have happened is one out of ten so how many send email methods can you write in one transaction the answer is maximum 10 okay each each send email you can send how many users you can actually send a, an email to 150 users so you'll see all of these limits in the documentation okay it should be somewhere here see the maximum total of the two address plus cc address plus bcc address per email is 150 okay and how many such emails can you send as part of one transaction meaning how many send email methods can you write in total per transaction 10 after 10 it will throw you a limit exception okay right now we have been able to give it a email address so it went inside and it hit the send email button which is why you see the email invocation done is one out of 10 meaning one email trigger has happened one send email method has been called okay now if I were to check whether I receive the email or not, let's go to my out, out, out box. Let's go to the other account. So I don't see it on my, so I don't see any message on the spam or on my actual folder. Okay. So this means there's something still wrong, right? We did not check that box here. So I'll go back here and before changing something, it's always safe to check what really happened. Okay, so I'll go to email log files and I'll try to request an email log. Okay, what this will tell you is this will tell you everything that has been sent out as an email from your mach machine, from your system, I mean, from your org between these two dates. So I have just taken the last 24 hour period from 12th to 13th. Okay, and I'll just say send it to this particular recipient, but I should also get a link to download on the org itself so i've just said request log so this will give me all emails between 12th and 13th which were outbound meaning which were sent out from salesforce to some other user okay we'll take a look at that yeah i hope this was straightforward if you want to actually put in let's say the two the cc address or the bcc address do you have a method for it yes you can just take that method how do you check it you can actually just use this variable and you will automatically find it here see set if you type set all of your methods come here can you link it with a specific object yes you see set target object id you can set it to an object id right how do you link a email template i'll say set template id okay how do you uh, say about signature let's say you want to put your signature in the system so if you search for signature you see set use signature option is also available so all of these capabilities are available yeah it's good to explore but mo most importantly you will see that you you will be using these three or four methods primarily if you are sending an email from your salesforce from your salesforce apex okay most of the times what happens is you don't use set plain text body you use the html body because you always want to ensure that the content content is in a good format
okay even this expects a string variable but it should be HTML with HTML tags yeah let's take a look at the email logs if it if it has been created yeah so you see this was requested at 8 p.m. just now this is Dubai time so I Indian time is 8 p.m. so I'll just say download so this will give me a CSV file and let's open the CSV file and this should show me the logs of all the emails that have triggered right so if you see today is 13 July yeah and this is all from 13th let me get rid of this section each entry tells you what has been done right and if I take you towards the left towards the right side of the panel you'll see that these are all outbound messages yeah and then you see that who has sent it like who was the from user which shows my name and my user ID and then here you will notice that you get the status the delivery status and all of them have that same error what is the error the error says your email has been rate limited because in this message the SPF or the DKIM verification is not done which I believe is the same issue that we were looking at here the checkbox right so let me try to set it and then give it one more test or else we'll, we'll let it go okay that's okay I'll just enable it for now and now let me try to hit another email yeah I'll just say execute and let's take a look at the email invocation so one email invocation has happened let's take a look at our gmail box so if you notice I've received the email now it says urgent take a look and this is a notification triggered via apex for you by Salesforce right so that was a behind the scene configuration that we had to do as part of some release updates that have happened around emails but about our use case this is the functionality and this is how you can actually approach how you want to send an email from apex okay cool i think that's all for this particular use case thanks bye